So a couple of weeks ago, I was going through my daily intake of reading the security news, and I stumbled upon this interesting article here on Bleeping Computer talking about using Google's infrastructure to host your own C2 uh, infrastructure. And there's a particular group called APT41, or Hoodoo, that's been using this open source project called GC2 to host their uh, command and control through Google Drive and Google Sheets. It's just a really unique and clever project. So going up here on the GitHub, this project is named GC2, and basically it's a command and control application where you use Google Sheets as your means of typing in commands and Google Drive to upload and download uh, files from a compromised host. So as cited here in the Y section, there's a few kind of clever reasons why I think this project is interesting. Uh, and as it's highlighted here, basically it comes down to you don't have to stand up your own C2 infrastructure. So if you're a script kitty or, or you know, you, maybe you're using some already well-developed red team tool, um, such as Cobalt Strike, Silver C2, Rattel, which are all really advanced frameworks, but EDR companies have created signatures and have heuristics involved, and especially for Cobalt Strike, one of the most prolific ones out there, um, a lot of, of EDR tools are catching on. So I think that using Google's native infrastructure, having the you know .google.com uh, is interesting. It won't be flagged as seemingly malicious. Also, you don't have to stand up anything. Uh, you don't have to stand up a VPS, uh, have your own IPs, or um, you know. A, domain and you know EDR tools often create and maintain a dynamic list of malicious processes. So if you have something, uh, a compromised host reaching out to some malicious domain, well, of course, an EDR tool is going to flag that and, and uh, send the alert to the right person or prevent something. So I think this is really an interesting um, kind of unique project. So in today's video, I'm gonna be uh, setting up this project, kind of testing it out, which basically translates to me cloning this repo and typing in a whole bunch of commands. So you're welcome to follow along here uh, on this video, and I'm just gonna be testing this out. Uh, I am gonna be using DigitalOcean and having a little uh, droplet here simulating my server that I'm going to attack. Now note that this would take place after you have compromised a host, and I know that there are caveats, as there always are to my videos, but I do think that this is an interesting project, you know, and obviously an APT is using this. So um, yeah, let's go ahead, jump into this project and get moving. Uh, yeah. All right, so getting set up here, as I said, I have a small digital ocean droplet, which is a little application that you can deploy. I'm using Ubuntu 20.04. You're welcome to use the link in the description below. You get a free $200 credit, uh, and it is an affiliate link full transparency. But here in front of me, I've already set up this droplet, and this is going to impersonate you know, a server living out on the internet, basically our victim host. Um, so on top of that, I already have logged in to this host and installed a Google Go, which GC2 uses Google Go. So um, I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description below, but basically uh, what you do is you download the, the tar file and then um, extract it, and then we you need to add it Google Go to uh, your path, uh, specifically in your dot profile path. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get moving by, well, logging into this first SSH into root. Alrighty. All right, so I've logged in here to my DigitalOcean droplets. Let's uh, go ahead and clone this repo into the root folder cd or ls cd into gc2 sheet ls and then do a go build gc2. All right, so this will fire up and create the executable file. Um, let's do an ls. All right, so let's go ahead and um, set up the Google infrastructure. Uh, there is a few things that you need to do before you actually end up, um, you know, 
basically you're initiating a connection and 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 uh, to do this, you have to have a Google Cloud account. Um, so I'm using just a, a junk Google account to actually have this. Um, and what you do is you go over to Google Cloud, and uh, once you sign up, you can go to service accounts. Now I'm gonna have to create a new service account, and basically this will uh, allow me to interact with the victim host. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a new victim. Let's see, create a new service account. Alrighty, create a service account. Call it GC2. All right, so once you have your service account created, you can go into your service account. And what you'll need to do is generate a new key file. So in here, I'm going to add a new key, create a new key, and create a JSON key. This will automatically download to your desktop. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. All right, the next step is to go back into your service accounts overview. Here you're going to see the um, email address. Uh, you're going to go ahead and copy this. And like I said in the beginning of the video, there's Google Sheets and there's Google Drive. So we have to share access with a Google Sheets and Google Drive file. Um, so using my junk Gmail account, I have already logged into Google Sheets and I've created a new Google Sheets file. And I also created a new Google Drive um, folder called Xfill. So let's go into Google Sheets, click Share. And we have to share this with the service account. As you can tell, I've already you know tested this out before creating this video, but uh, let, let's just do this. Uh, let's see what happens. Make sure to give editor access. Doesn't really matter if you notify. Um, so that will share there. And then go to my drive, double click, right click Xfill and create a new share. You're gonna also share here. All right, so the next step is to go back to our DigitalOcean droplet. And I'm going to um, go ahead and, and copy over the JSON key. Uh, so I'm literally just gonna do a control copy make a new file using nano uh, and call it mykey.json, right click, and that will paste the key file here. Control X, yes, clear. Do an LS. Now we have the mykey.json in the GC2 sheet uh, directory. And I think at this point, um, we are good to go. So in order to start the C2, we basically just call on this executable, supply the JSON key for the service account, the sheet and Google Drive ID. Is do a dot forward slash GC2 sheet dash K my key JSON dash S. And to, go to get the um, sheet ID, you just have to go to the URL and this string of text here after the D is what the uh, file ID is. So we can right click, copy, go back into terminal, p paste that. Okay, then after that, just the dash D flag um, for directory, go up to your URL and then copy the ID at the end of the URL here. Make sure you have uh, clicked into your drive folder and then, um, yep, keep going, right click. All right, so at this point, this should launch the, um, well, let's see what happens. All right, so you're not gonna see anything up on the screen here, but if you actually go to your Google Sheet, you're gonna see that a new sheet was created. And uh, the delay configuration at this point is 10 seconds. So it's gonna probe or, or our, uh, look for new commands every 10 seconds. Um, so let's just right now test like, who am I? 
uh, and, and see what happens. And there you go, root. So this is just, I think this is just such a cool kind of idea. Um, so you can, you know, go in and look at the password file or the Etsy shadow file. Um, so there you go. I mean, this is showing you the Etsy password. All right, so obviously if you're spawning a shell like this, I mean, you could create any reverse type shell uh, or, or, you know, backdoor. Let's go ahead and do a control C. And then I want to see if we can run this in the background. So um, let's first just try the simple command of the ampersand. And uh, let's see what happens. Now, each time you do spawn a new session, a new sheet is created. Uh, but at this point, I mean, you have uh, just a regular shell here and your reverse shell is running in the background. All right, so with GC2 running in the background, let's go ahead and um, kind of explore the Google Drive features. Now, you can exfiltrate data. You can also download files and pull files from Google Drive. Um, so theoretically, you could upload sensitive data uh, to your Google Drive, or you could also have a second stage payload to create more backdoors or whatever you wanted, and that could be hosted out on your Google Drive, um, where the, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. So um, let's go ahead and theoretically simulate some confidential data here on um, this server. I'm just going to be creating, of course, a little text file, so we'll just call it um, nano sensitive text.txt hello world save now gc2 has hard coded commands for you to exfiltrate and download files now from the target so we can interact with the target using our commands let's go ahead and upload um, this file first Going here, I'm going to change the delay configuration to five seconds. And at this point, I can do a small um, uh, print working directory. All right, let's see here, and boom, sensitive text. All right, so now that I've uploaded data, let's theoretically say I also have a second stage backdoor um, being hosted up on my Google Drive here. I created a little test.txt file, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can pull this file into our victim machine. Um, so first I need to actually get the file ID here. And to do this, I'm thinking I can just go to get link. Okay, so go ahead and actually share this with anyone on the internet. Let's copy this link, paste it here. And I'm gonna guess that this right here is the file ID. I have no idea if that's correct. So we need the file ID and then we need where we're gonna put it. Um, let's just put it in root GC2. All right, so download file ID and then root GC2 dash sheet. Download, yep, GC2 sheet, nah. And then do test.txt. Ah, do it again. Gosh, file downloaded. So if we go into here, do an ls cat tasks txt. Boom. Yeah. So that that is really cool. I think that this project is just really unique. You know, using native Google Sheets, Google Drive. Um, I don't know. I just think that's such a clever idea. All right. So yeah, that basically sums up this video. Like I said, it, it was me just typing in commands to a screen, but hopefully maybe you found something useful in today's video, a really cool open source project. You should go check it out. Um, and yeah, that's it for today's video. So hopefully you learned something new and until the next video, have a good day.